You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Raz Cass. YouTube salute. Cassidy has said that he wishes he got to know R. Kelly better than he did while making his debut smash hit. Hotel, if you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. During an interview on the Bootleg Cab podcast on Tuesday, Cassidy, he talked about the creative process behind the 2003 single and explained how he was introduced um, to R. Kelly. It was my first time meeting him. I think it was my first time in Chicago, too. Swiss and them were telling me different stuff of how it might be. But when we went there, I'm a super fan of R. Kelly. Like my older brother that raised me, we used to ride around the hood banging R. Kelly songs loud. I was a super fan. So to know that I'm working on my first album, finally got budgets. Excuse me. Finally got budgets open. And it's like big, and I'm working on my first single with R. Kelly and Swiss Beast produced it. So I was excited. I was super happy. He continued. I got in the studio, and even Twister came through. I remember Twister came through the studio. Me and Twister started rapping. I think Twister spit some bars. I spit some bars, and me and Swiss was just there. Swiss started explaining the record. It was like a collaboration for Hotel. We already had the idea that we wanted to do this hotel record when we went to go see R. Kelly. So it was already an idea we had. Um, he also talked about, you know, right, you know, knowing that R. Kelly got locked up and yada yada yada, all that stuff that went down. Right? He said, "I wish I got a chance to bust it up with him more to see what type of dude he is." The second time I met him was at the video shoot, and I never got a chance to meet him after that. It was my first project and I had no records out. So I ain't really have nothing for him to con to be connected to me. All right, if you didn't know about Cassidy's first album, Split Personality, it was released in 2004. He had that hit single. Um, I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. But um, yeah, him knowing R. Kelly, I'm curious to know what Cassidy, if he would have knew all that stuff that was going on with R. Kelly, what well he would have recorded the single like well he would have maybe said like you know what let me go get somebody else maybe let me go get um nate dog may he rest in peace for rising power you know he could have probably ended up getting somebody else he probably could have got you know one of the members from 112. like for real like you know he probably would have like no i'm gonna change this up he could have probably got genuine at the time i mean i'm just i'm just throwing artists out there you know he could have probably got um tyrese you know, in to what to the two thousands, John B, Joe. <laughs> I mean, that's other artists. You know, but R. Kelly. No, I ain't gonna lie. He has some hits. You cannot de deny his hits. But if he would have got a chance to know him, know him, know him, maybe not. But it maybe Cassidy probably looking like, damn. All we did was just record the record and did the video shoot. I didn't. Get, I still didn't know this dude. Maybe he probably felt like. If he would have got a chance to know him on a personal level, probably would have been like, damn, maybe he could have could have probably wrote him already in jail. Maybe not. But he probably can't speak about him too much because he don't know him like that. Just like I don't know R. Kelly like that. He just made a song with him. I never met R. Kelly before. All I know him is through his music and him being in jail right now for, you know, what he did. So that's all we know about R. Kelly. We know about um the documentary, the series that's been out, talking about him, people coming out, coming forward about what he did. You know about the young women, women now, older women. You know about the parents being paid and allowing that shit to go down with R. Kelly. But at the end of the day, a lot of times in the hip hop industry, a lot of rappers they don't really know each other. I mean, some of them have personal relationships because they probably, you know, super grew up to, with each other. Like, oh, that's the homie. We always doing records together. We was on tour together. That's different. Some people just probably high and by. Say high and by. Probably was at a video shoot. 
Maybe it was at a club. <laughs> you know, that's probably about it. But even if you did do a song with somebody, you probably still don't even know that person like that. Think about some of these rappers, R&B singers that done t uh, that went on tour with each other, that done records together. Some of them were cool. Some of them had beef. Some of them never had beef. Some of them had beef, and they started off just having beef. And then maybe they actually made, you know, made amends. But teachers, um, post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Bitbo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.